subscribe to my channel if you're new here please come on in like share subscribe if you're returning thank you for returning um today is tuesday the uh 25th of october turn that off um i did not record yesterday i was busy working and i don't even know what i did i had to pick up the boys and drop them off it was a lot of just me running around i was gonna go to target um yesterday the, again the parking lot's crowded and this is like one something 145 in the afternoon um and it was super crowded so i don't know what is going on um to where it's crowded in the middle of the day but i did go um to at&t and order my phone so i think it already shipped it probably be here today or tomorrow i got me the new samsung flip um my husband just got one i was on the fence about getting it i was just going like hey i'm just gonna keep my phone but my phone has been acting up as you guys know once you got a phone for a couple years or a new phone comes out it starts slowing down i have dropped my phone several times so it's um cracked on the back where the cameras are and it's cracked on my screen so sometimes just um my email freezes up um me trying to you know it's touch screens obviously so i'm trying to touch the screen and all that sometimes it doesn't work and i have to like basically beat on the screen for um it to work so and it's smaller i'll be able to fold it especially um going to vegas and with the small purse i'm carrying it's gonna be perfect for me to fold up and put it into my purse um and just yeah general carrying it around because my big old um, note 20 is pretty big um just putting it in my pocket my tight ass jeans um yeah it's just been super big so hopefully i like it i didn't like the s um 22 i never really liked the s series i've had it before in the past and I always just loved the Note. I never really had too many problems with the Note, like the S series. Um, but I heard that this is like the last version of the Note that they're doing. Um, so yeah, we shall see. But yeah, I'm excited for that. So I'll unbox it and show you guys once I get it. Um, the only bad thing is it doesn't have an SD slot. So I do have an SD card in this phone that I'm going to have to take out and just kind of put it away and put it on like a, oh, I couldn't think of what it was called yesterday. I was looking for it and then I thought of it yesterday looking at someone else's vlog, um, but like an outer store, I can't even think of it right now, hard drive. Um, and that's what I need to get for my computer because I only have like four gigs on my laptop. And, um, damn, all over here. Uh, four gigs on my laptop, and it's filled up with all of my, um, there's a lot of pictures, of product pictures, um, from my fashion, um, business. So, there's a lot of stuff on there that I need to take off, because it's super slow. I can't do anything with it, and I basically cleaned it out. A few months ago and it's like still bad so um, there's something else on my list to get and do um, also my tablet I have a, a Samsung tab um, s7 plus which just came out like two years ago um, and within a couple weeks it got broke I sent it to Samsung they're like hey this is an eternal like it's not something that um, you know it didn't happen on its own it was damaged so it's not covered under warranty they wanted to charge me three hundred some dollars to fix it I said no send it back so they sent it back and it's been literally in the box 
on my desk for like two years never used so i finally was like let me go there's a um phone teller repair place around the corner from my house so i walked there yesterday and he was like you might as well buy a new one because it's going to be 300 for the screen um and then it's parts and labor and all the type of stuff so probably over 400 dollars pissed <laughs> i was hoping that he can fix it and i really need my tablet right now so i don't know what to do i'm gonna try to see another place and repair it but i don't know i showed up they just came up with a new one like literally within the last month or two or something like that so they have the eight but it like their tablet pop was well over a thousand dollars so i'm not trying to spend that again so we'll see um if another repair place can fix it and how much it's gonna be if not i don't know um but yeah i have a lot of run around to do i just dropped off the girls at school i'm getting ready to go to my aunt's house and pick up these uh, box of cookies that were ordered by my co-workers i didn't have um room in the freezer so she's keeping it for me there so i'm gonna pick that up go back because now it's so crazy because i'm on this side by my job the high school is by my job and i can't just go straight there so i have to go all the way on the other side of town by my boys school pick up this order come all the way back on the other side drop it off come all the way back depending on the time yeah because it's still like 8 30 it's like nine o'clock because i do have my um gap order my jacket to pick up from gap which is down the street literally like a few miles from her house and i need to um yeah pick it up from there and then the chiropractor place is in the same um shopping center so I wanted to get adjusted today. Um, so I'm going to do that. <sighs> I'm tired just thinking about it. Um, I have a Macy's order to pick up. I have a Nordstrom's order to pick up. Or did I get it both from Macy's? I have to check. But I have orders to pick up because like I said, I didn't have nothing to wear. Um, some more sweats or some type of sweatsuit or something to wear on Friday uh, yeah I still have to pack I have um, dance stuff to do I need to send out invoices uh, and all of that so yeah guys it's gonna be busy i'm ready to go back home i'm so sleepy and i had a headache last night so i was like it took me a while to go to sleep <sighs> um, yeah that's what i'm doing right now um yeah how is your guys week going so far it's gonna be a busy week all the way up until the weekend vlog should be fun though like I said, I haven't been on a girl's trip in eight, nine years. Um, so definitely, I'll be recording that and the activities that we partake in. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, I'll get my hair done Thursday. Tomorrow is practice. Um, yeah, it's a lot going on. A lot, a lot going on. But yeah, so I'll check in with y'all wherever I land in a little while and um, see what it do hey y'all so I dropped off the cookies at my job about 30 minutes ago it's 10 12 and got me some robux some green juice down there um, it's called green of all queens or queen of all greens that's what it is queen of all greens so it has kale spinach Pineapple, um, banana, apple juice, 
I think that's it. Um, but yeah, pretty good. My first time trying it. Told you like the first time when they first opened, it was trash. It was disgusting. And I haven't went back since. That could have been like a year, two years ago or something. But when I went a few months back, one of my vlogs, I was over there shopping and was hungry. And I had a icy bowl and it was bomb and fresh and everything. So I was like, this time I'm on the go, so I can't really eat a bowl. So I decided to get a smoothie and it's pretty good. Pricey because this small was $6.99, so that's kind of high. I think that's more than Jamba Juice. Um, but yeah, so I just left out of Ross. I was looking for like a small crossbody bag or a fanny pack type bag um, to wear like in the airport and all that to carry all my stuff. Um, I have a fanny pack, but it's a Nike and it's kind of worn out because I've had it for a long time and I've used it. I got some use out of it. Um, and that's what I usually use when I go for walks around my neighborhood. I put all my stuff in there. So they didn't really have nothing. I did get some socks because I need some socks. Um, and then I found a pair of uh, Levi's for Case for $12.99. So I got that. Went to TJ Maxx. All the bags <laughs> that we just seen maybe a couple of vlogs back that I went to TJ Maxx are basically gone. They did have some Steve Madden crossbody bags that are going viral right now. They had three of them. They basically had um, three left. Someone, they had like a little soft pink and um, there was a red, there was a green so uh, another lady had bought and I was trying to like it's still a little bit too big for what like it's small compared to I used to I love like big purses like over the shoulder purses but for me traveling this was just like the crossbody bag it has a thick strap and the thinner strap um, it's really really cute uh, I feel like it was too big for me to carry around I don't know in the airport but um, I don't know I'm getting ready to there's two opposite sides that I need to go to um, pick up these these items that I ordered. So, Gap, where I need to pick up my leather coat from, is in Inglewood. And then Macy's and Nordstrom's is on, it's like Redondo, is that Manhattan Beach? Torrance area. They're opposite ways, right? So, I'm in the middle right now. Nordstrom still haven't said my order is ready, but Macy's is. The Macy's and Nordstrom's, like you get to Macy's first at the smaller mall, South Bay Galleria, and then Nordstrom's is at Del Lamo, so that's on the same road. Hawthorne Boulevard goes all the way down, so you get to Macy's at South Bay first, and then you go down to Del Lamo. So I didn't want to go to Macy's on that side if my Nordstrom order isn't ready because that wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna go essentially left <laughs> east whatever you want to call it um to the gap um the chiropractor like it says at the same shopping center i'm gonna get adjusted while i'm there and then just um go over to gap pick up my order see if they got some little bag or something in there if not cool um then whatever time that is that I get out of there probably a little after 11 then I will probably go home I need to go to Staples I keep forgetting that I need to pick up a, a print a copy but I also need to look at printers because like I said it's a hassle and I can just print from the living room hold on police um that I could just print from the living room so So yeah, I just don't know what printer because I do have a Epson, which is like the older one that's just sitting there. I forgot what happened to that. If it we didn't have the plug or we didn't have the the software anymore once we moved it, I don't know what happened. But that stopped working, and then I bought the new. So I'm like, okay, let me go with HP. 
that stopped working for some reason. So I wanted to go to the uh, back to Epson with the because they have the cool ink car cartridges, Ugh. but um, it's expensive. So um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Comment below if you have a good working printer, because um, that way too, printing my labels, I can just get the it's like five dollars or something. The five by seven labels, I can just print it from home and my regular printer and I'll have to get a separate printer because I'm not like packaging stuff like that um so yeah that is what my plan is today I really don't want to be out all day I do need to make a return at Target um mm. I am hungry But yeah, so that is what I have going on today, guys, on the Tuesday. I'm tired, though. I really want to go home and just lay down and do nothing. So I'm hoping I get a notification while I'm out. My Nordstrom's order is ready, so I can just do that. If not, I'll just have to get it um, when I go and pick up the girls from school. So that is the plan today. Um Clea has to record her video for dance tonight. So I'll do it last night. She was asleep. It's due by today. So I'm going to have her do it today. Um, hopefully, while it's still light outside, try to do it in the backyard. And I'm trying to think what else, guys. Because tomorrow is practice. So I'll have all of that going on. Um, I want to have everything. That's why I'm meant to look at sweatsuits because I have one I think I'm going to wear that home but I just need something comfortable to wear down there I just want to be in even though I'm only going to be on a flight for an hour I want to be comfortable so yeah I want to be in no jeans or nothing super tight so I guess I'll see what Gap has because I think they're having a sale too Hold on, guys. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Just turn down the air. But yeah, um, I will check y'all in a minute. And let y'all know what is going on on this fabulous Taco Tuesday. Hey guys, I'm back. So, whew, I got adjusted. It was a little bit of cracking, but not a lot. But now my ankle hurts. It was already like achy, but he pulled like from the ankle like to pop my hip and all that so now it's really aching um i ran into gap factory store really really nice stuff in there um to pick on my jacket i found me a sweatsuit the sweatsuits were i want to say 40 they were i think were 20 percent off and then they were like some man jeans that were on like a markdown rack and then they have additional 60% off on that so the jeans I got for my son I don't know the original price but the red um, tag price was $44.99 I ended up getting it for $17 something $17.49 something like that and then I got Kesa um, sweatshirt I forgot how much that was I have to show you guys but they had some cute stuff but I got me a gray like tan with gray gap across it zip up sweater and the sweatpants to match um, I wanted the tan but they didn't have my size or they had the they had that yeah they did have the jacket but they didn't have the sweats to match in my size so um, very very cute so I wear that on Friday and um, I have like my, I have a Leah sweatshirt that I got from Target. It's like burgundy. I'll wear that with my tan sweats on Sunday. Um, yeah, I got everything. I just gotta pick up my orders. I'm still waiting on Nordstrom to tell me when it's gonna be ready. And my little Levi would not let me be great today. Um, so I can drive on that side. Ooh. 
um so i guess i'm gonna go back home i'll show you what everything looked like i'll try on the jacket and see if it fits me if not it'll be going back um i do still need to return these jeans from target i thought he only gave me ten dollars off on the jeans were like $36 that I told y'all wouldn't get over my hips but it was like for $10 but I still gonna need my $10 back because I'm not gonna wear them and like I told you guys before normally I would um I'll buy stuff if it doesn't fit or whatever or I don't like it I usually don't return it it would just sit in my closet with tags on it that's why I have a lot of stuff that I'm now selling on Macari and Poshmark with tags on it because I just didn't like the way they fit or they couldn't fit or whatever the case may be so they just sit in my closet for years so and that's why I've been trying to clean out um, stuff that you know and I'm not gonna wear so um, yeah so that's what I am doing I'm trying to think yeah that's all I have to pick up oh my god so I went into I don't go into these stores in Inglewood. Um, I just forget about them. So they have Ross, they have Marshalls, and they have Old Navy. I was going to go into Old Navy, but I was like, I don't want to go crazy. So I went into Ross to look for like the bags I'll tell you guys. And they had a cute Michael Kors. It was all black and it had white Michael Kors across it. It's very small. I think it's like a nylon material. And it had two like areas like pockets or whatever and has zippers across both it was like $69 like I don't want to spend $70 on this and then the line was long and it was wrapped up to where it had alarm on it so it was like a rope or something where you went a wire connecting all of the purses together so I would have to call somebody over to unlock and get that purse out and then stand in line I just wasn't for it this morning why was mom driving i wasn't for it this morning so i was like forget it and then i went to marshall's and they didn't have nothing i was looking for so i'm gonna go so i'm trying to think of the other ross i don't think this is open um where is the other ross did i go into the ross i did not i went into um of course of course, of course, you would be coming this way. I'm trying to get the fuck over. Shit. Hold on. Just thought about it. I did go to Ross by um, when I went to TJ Maxx. That's where I got my socks from. <laughs> Shit. That's how you know you're getting old. I forgot just that quick. Um, but yeah, so. I really wanted that bag because that's cute. It was like the perfect size and everything. I'm gonna see if this Ross is open because it was shut down some months back in Hawthorne. Um, so I'm gonna drive their parking lot and see if it's open. Um, Yeah, it was nice um ross too very clean and organized and i don't know if it was a flooding or not a fire but i think it was a flooding this had to be like oh six months ago maybe longer we came here one day and they had a note on the door that they were closed so i don't know if it's still open let me see let me see let me see let me see it all is back open okay i seen somebody walk in um i gotta find a parking spot i just don't know what's going on it's tuesday in the morning time 11 20 in the morning and it's been so much traffic i'm like people don't work like i'm only off because i'm on vacation but nobody works no more like seriously all right see you in a minute y'all i am beat 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 so i was able to find a 
crossbody ski mat bag. It has a thick strap. It's like a green, army green quilted. I can't even tell. I'm so tired. Quilted um, color fabric. Um, so different. That was twenty one ninety nine. So can pass it up. I did see something else that I like, but there was Michael Kors, but I was like eighty dollars. I'm trying to be on a budget, so that wasn't gonna work. So, um, yeah, it's cute. It's one of my favorite colors. Is it gonna go with? It's fine. Like I said, I'm in the airport a couple hours. It's nothing big, but I definitely will be using this bag because it's one of my favorite colors. Um, but yeah, so I am. Where is I go? Oh, I went to Target, returned those jeans. Only ten dollars because he really discounted me like twenty six dollars. Um, but I'm gonna go to yeah, got that out the way, and I need to get gas. And um, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I'm still kind of full from that smoothie, so it did its job. What was that nine forty something? Nine point five. I don't know what time that was, but um, I really want an In and Out burger. I haven't had In and Out in a long time. Um, decisions, decisions. But I'm gonna go get gas, which I just was at the gas station. I hate driving by these trucks because they don't never stay in their lane. Um, I'm gonna go and. Yeah, I was just at the gas station. All my days are mixed up. Was it yesterday? It had to be yesterday because I had to take the boys. What's that? I can't even remember. Yeah, I had to stop and get gas because, yeah, I had to take the boys. And I had to run in and, yeah. So that was yesterday. Um, I'm tired. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna get gas, probably get lunch, and get home before the boys get out at 12. My husband said he'll be home by one, so yeah, hopefully, I'll be home by 12 30 ish. Yeah, so I will let y'all see what I got when I get home. Hopefully I can see these bags in the house before he sees everything that I bought and I went crazy. And the thing is, I didn't even buy a lot of stuff. Those two pair of boots have been in my trunk for a couple of days now. I've not brought them in the house, which I was going to do yesterday, and but I had a headache. So I just left them out, so they're in the trunk. I definitely want to take those out. Um, yeah, <laughs> my jacket, my sweatsuit, that's what I got, a little purse, and then I got stuff for the boys, like I don't, I always end up getting something for them, and that's it, but yeah, so I'll check out when I get in the house so I can show you, um, everything that I've got, show you the jacket and see how it fits me. I'm praying it fits because I don't got time to be looking for something else. Um, but if not, then I don't know what the heck. It's all I got. It's like bigger bomber jackets. So I don't want to freeze or get sick. Um, but hope it was so long. You always seem to be out when I'm on the phone. There goes the fire truck, people. It's 529 for gas. I think it's 539 if I use my car. Hold on. I am in the in and out line. And I knew that was going to happen. I got a message saying that my Nordstrom order is ready for pickup. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to get it after I pick up. 
the girls. I'm gonna, um, maybe it's already 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna get home, um, eat, show y'all what I got, and go out and pick up this order. Then I'll be done, and I can start packing. So, once again, I'll see y'all at the house. So, I just got Adidas socks, six pair, they're thicker too, for $10. And these are the jeans. I got a case, size 7, $12.99. Nice blue. Hold on. Okay, I had to turn on the other light. So, this is the back. 511 Slim. Not too bad. For $13. And then here is the infamous C Madden purse. Very, very cute. This is what it looks like quilted. And that's what I'll be wearing. As you can see, $21.99. Hold on. And this is what I got a gap the sweatsuit I was talking about. It zips up. Very, very thick. And then it comes with the well, they're separate pieces, but the gap gray. They have the this whatever that is at the bottom. They're not like wide laid or anything. Um, but yeah, they're sold separately, very thick. Got them in an extra large because you know I'm fluffy right now. These are the jeans I was talking about originally. I don't know, because they got it taped up. $44.99 was the sale price and an additional 60% off. They are the Gap um, Slim Taper, Gap Flex, Comfort Stretch Waistband. So, I got them in a 29. But yeah, those are cute. And this is the sweatshirt that I really, really like. It's black. All the materials is really, really thick. So this is going to be great when it starts really cooling down and we go out somewhere so he can have some to wear. But very cute. So that is what I got. It's a little tight in the arms or whatever, but it'll do. Hopefully I can lose some weight and it'll be cool by now. But yeah, don't mind the dirty mirror. But yeah, so it'll do. Here are my boots that I plan to wear out for Friday, maybe Saturday. I have some over the knee boots that I may wear. And these are the white boots I was talking about. $30. They're very comfortable. And I like them. So I will show y'all the rest once I go pick it up from Macy's and Nordstrom's. I'm about to eat because, you know, Indiana gets cold really fast. Be back. Happy Wednesday, guys. I'm at home. As you can see, it's a lot going on. I am packing. I'm trying to pack. I just cleaned out my makeup bag and took what took out what I'm not going to use and then put in what I am going to use um, and trying to figure out I have a small right right here right here um, that I'm trying to pack um, yeah so the jeans I ordered from Target are not available which I figured because they only have one left um, in my size so I think I'm just going to wear some jeans I already have. I'm going to wear it with the bodysuit. Um, I just need a strapless bra, so I'll order, place a pickup order for that at Target. Um, I have my like ankle boots. I'm trying to think if I'm going to wear it for both days or not. Um, it just depends. If I could fit both everything in there with both set of boots, because like I said, I have like over-the-knee boots. Um, then I'll take and, both. Uh, if not, then I'll just take the ankle boots so, uh, and I'm packing up most of my stuff um, right now. So that's what I'm doing. Practices tonight. So I need, I'm washing clothes right now, getting everything prepared for when I'm gone also. So pretty, pretty busy. And tomorrow I'll get my hair done. Thank the Lord because I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> It's a mess. Um, so y'all check in with y'all in a little bit and um, show you my progress. Hey y'all, I'm in the car, obviously. Um, it's what, 2.55, I'm gonna stop at Walgreens, um, get a gift card, and then pick up my sister, pick up the girls, and go to practice. Um, this will be my last practice until the following Wednesday because Friday I will be on a plane going to Vegas for the weekend so I won't be at practice which is 
drive me crazy um because it's like literally out of my control but um yeah my new phone came guys you can't really see too much of it right now but this is the back of it and it folds you don't know by now samsung girl i have um owned iphones in the past um but i've been hooked on samsung for the last, i don't know how many years now the last ooh, almost 10 years or something like that um just the clarity of the video everything has just been better to me um i can go on and on and on <laughs> as far as iphones i mean the only reason why i would want an iphone is because as far as with my business because everybody around me has iphones and it's easier to transfer pictures and videos and all that type of stuff um back and forth but other than that i'm cool with my samsung so i'm excited for this new smaller phone hopefully i won't be in pain like my thumb the joint in my thumb has been hurting really it's been sore because i'm um, the way i'm holding my phone a lot um and this fold so this is going to be so better for me to um move around while i'm out of town and in a smaller bag and just fold it up and keep it um close to me and then i also ordered two new um cases one was just a regular case and then um was scrolling on another site and i was like oh shoot a wallet you know the case with the wallet and i'm like that would be perfect so i ordered another one i think it'll come here tomorrow where i can just put my cards and my id so it's easier going through the airport i can just pull out my id instead of this big old wallet so that's what i plan to do but yeah so um i will check in with y'all in a little bit once i get to where we're going happy thursday y'all I'm obviously in the car. I have a hair appointment at 9, it's 8 11. I'm trying to do a pickup order um, from Target before my appointment because I have obviously like 45 minutes. Um, couldn't have my coffee this morning because something was wrong with our Keurig. I guess it had to be descaled or something, cleaned out. So by the time my husband was working on that, it was time for me to go drop off the girls. So I just dropped them off. I need to get some coffee. I was going to, but probably not today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pick up that order. Um, Cause I have to do it today. And then once I have a lot of run around to do. So get my hair done, go home for a little while probably an hour or so go pick up the boys from school go pick up the girls from school drop everybody off or go home get dressed drop her off um and um because my daughter's going to i was gonna say baseball football game tonight boyfriend place for the team and it's his birthday so um yeah so that is what um I just got sidetracked at cars trying to cut through um yeah so it's his birthday so they're going to a birthday dinner tonight um and then I'm supposed to have a date night and go to the movies hopefully that happens um, yeah, and then finish packing tonight. I still have to get up, take the girls to school, and then get dropped off to meet my friends to go to Vegas. So, it's a lot still going on. Um, yeah, so I will check in with y'all. see later probably when I get to the hair salon I'll check on trouble my hair is looking a uh, hot mess I'm gonna see if she can do like long layers so when I curl it it like keeps the curl like it's a lot more body and not just straight down um, so hopefully that can be done and yeah so I'll check y'all once I get to the salon Fresh out the salon. Um, looks 
really really good I had her um, to like kind of layer it so I'll give it some little definition I'm happy with it the thing is to try to keep it this way I'm not the shower and sleep now that's gonna be the, the task she said to pin curl it I'm not a pin curl I was trying to pin curl my daughter's hair for homecoming and that wasn't perfect I don't know it worked out but we'll see um just left Target did another pickup in one location I'm about to go to the second location to pick up some sweatshirts that I really don't need anymore because I found what I'm gonna wear um tonight so let's have date night and go to the movies tonight so I have those white and black boots I'm dying to wear um so I found this cute sweatshirt it has like knit I don't know how to pronounce it. not pronounce it, but it's like a knit type of material like looks like little woven holes or whatever on the sleeves and on the side of the um, sweatshirt so I'll show you guys what that looks like but it's all white with black on it my boots are all white with black on it with some jeans um, and my girlfriends are texting back and forth and about the dress code. So she called for the um, male review, strip tease, whatever you want to call it, club. And it's really no dress code. So you can wear tennis shoes. I wasn't even thinking about bringing tennis shoes because I don't have, I'm bringing a small, small bag. So now I'm thinking I have to change my bag. But um, I was okay. I had to switch my clothes around because I was going to wear my faux leather pants with the graphic tee and my boots to the male review spot and then jeans and my bodysuit and boots to the club on Saturday so that's kind of how it's changed I'm now I'm gonna wear the bodysuit with the full leather pants and the boots to the club and then I was like oh the whole leather kick let me see if I can find a skirt or some shorts couldn't find them like online to where I can go and pick it up um, so I was like let me go into Ross which is next door to the Target and they had a cute pleated faux leather skirt, black. And then I got a pleated like, came to like blow the knee, like a pale purple, super cute. I found like a cropped black graphic tee with ice, ice cube on it, has some purple in the shirt. Super cute. I'm gonna pair it with my black Yeezys. I don't wanna hear it, don't come for me. Um, but yeah, that's what I plan to wear. It just depends on how it looks once I get home and try it on. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Matter of fact, I can cancel that order. Hmm. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, so going to pick that up. That's it's 12.15. I just basically get out of the salon maybe... 20 minutes ago because everything's like in a loop um, all the way around so I'm gonna go pick this up order this order up and I can always take it back when I get back um, gotta pick up the boys by 2 30 pick her up I got her a little bodysuit like a t-shirt bodysuit that she can wear with some jeans um, for her boyfriend's birthday dinner. That way she's not wearing nothing cropped or nothing with her stomach out. So hopefully she likes that idea. And she can wear, um, she has some Ugg boots she can wear. Um, and probably like a cute flannel or something over it. So we'll see. Um, that, I'm trying to think what else. And that's about it. I'm going to go home once I pick her up. She's going to change. I'm going to change. And then um, drop her off. And then hopefully go to the movies after that. And i got to finish packing tonight. I have to unpack and repack now because um, of what I'm actually going to bring now. And um, make sure I have room in this small, very it's a small Louis bag. It's like a medium size carry-on. And it's looking like I'm at the, I have a pink 
Victoria's Secret pink bag and it's huge. It's looking like I may have to bring that, but I really don't want to. I want a small, but I know me, I overpack. <laughs> Cause I was thinking yesterday, I was like, oh my God. So I still gotta have something to wear like Saturday morning, afternoon, because we're not going out to Laird that night. So I can't be walking around with my club clothes on all, all day. So I had packed like some leggings and a long slip shirt. But, um, so there was an extra outfit. And yeah, now I think I'm just gonna bring jeans. Cause I really, the leggings I'm talking about, I hate. Um, because they, those are the ones that was falling down that I was telling you guys about. So I'm definitely not gonna bring those. So I'm gonna unpack those and just bring, Shoot. See me talking, I passed the damn target up. It's one of those days, and it's like crowded and packed in this line at 12. I'm like, where? Why? Seems like no one's working. Like people are out, out. Um. So, anyways, yeah, that is what the plan is. I may just go get me some lunch and pick it up on my way out to get the boys because I'm tired. And I have hella little bags because I ran to Target, I don't know how many damn times to pick up something that I thought about. But I think I'm just gonna cancel my order on that since I found me a sweatshirt. But this is the, which I may return this too. I got this card, you can see with this light. This little card holder. Like I said, it's for my ID, a couple cards, and that's it to put in my purse, my little carry-on, whatever it's called, my little purse. Um, and that way it's not, I'm not carrying, I have a big, huge, a large zip around wallet, and it's heavy, and it's just a lot too. So I'm just, I'm trying to make it minimal as possible. Like I said, I haven't traveled on a plane in like 10 years, so I don't even know how to check in do none of that um yeah so my three pack i'm happy there's a lot going on and i asked to do something tonight with my husband knowing it's chaotic and but that's what i do i add on to chaos <laughs> it's like i like to run around and do stuff at the last minute so i thought i was headed to the game and i was already packed and ready to go but oh but i did have to go to target because of um I had to get a strapless bra for the bodysuit that I bought. It's a, um, what is it called? Spaghetti strap. And it kind of low cuts in the front. So, yeah, I don't want my Chi Chi's hanging out. Or like with a big old bra. Um, so I had to get a bra, uh, strapless bra, because I sure can't go braless no more. Um, so yeah, that's why I had to get, they split my order because they didn't have everything at the target by my house that I normally go to so yeah I'm about to go I don't even know where I'm going I'm gonna go get something to eat I'm trying to think where it's in the vicinity I have no idea um but yeah so so I just want to check on with y'all because, like I said, I haven't been vlogging a lot this week because there's a lot going on. And I'm going to try to show y'all my fits later. Um, something very cute. And, um, and what I'm wearing tonight, hopefully, is still a go. So I was looking forward to spending some alone time. And then I leave tomorrow. So I know it's only a couple days, but I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm so used to being um, at home. Um, so, and when we do go somewhere, I'm usually with the kids, with my husband or with family. So, yeah, this is going to be totally different for me. And then going out, I ain't been in a club environment I can't even tell you how many years because I just don't do that anymore I am 40 <laughs> as y'all know um 
But yeah, I partied since I was 15. I was in the older clubs. I was a, a dancer, not that type of dancer. I was a like a hip hop dancer. I was in a group. We had a manager. Um, he would get us in all different type of spots. So I've been doing that for a long time. And once I started having kids, I had my daughter at 24. And I just turned 24. And I was already done. Like I was already ready to do the mother thing. Um, so like going out is usually like dinner, maybe drinks. That's about it. And this will be the most that I've went out in probably 15 years. So yeah, so we'll see. It should be fun. Um, my friends are pretty wild. Not really wild, wild, but they they can turn up. So um, and I'm so laid back, and I'm, that's just my personality, and I feel like it's turned up even more. I mean, as far as me being very quiet, the older I get, it's just like I want peace and quiet. So this is gonna be different, um, and I'm sure it'll be fun. So yeah, doing all that ranting, but yeah, I will. Once I get home, I'll show you what I picked up. I don't know if I'm gonna show you show you wearing me trying them on, um, but yeah, I'm worried about how the fit is going to fit because um, it's not like an elastic. Well, the p purple skirt is, so that's kind of stretchy. But the pleated skirt, I think, is a zip up, and those don't tend to work really well. So I'm praying that it looks, it fits and it looks cute because I was excited when I found it, it was only eight ninety nine. I was like. Phew. It's just like shining out on me because <laughs> I definitely wasn't expecting to find what I was actually looking for in Ross because it's a hit and miss, as you guys know that. So I was very excited to find it and at that price. So like both skirts were like $8.99. I believe the shirt was like $10.99. The most expensive was my underarm sweatshirt, which was like $27.99 or $29.99. Normally I wouldn't spend that much on a sweatshirt. I'm super cheap. But it was super cute. Um, and it just matched perfectly with my boots. I'm very excited to wear these boots. And I was trying to figure out an outfit or something to wear them to Vegas. But they're super heavy. And I'm trying to make a room. So I definitely will not be bringing them. But I will be wearing them tonight if we go to the movies. So and we're supposed to see the new Halloween movie heard mixed reviews on it so but yeah and anything he chose that movie it could have been any type of movie um as long as we're spending time together i'm okay with that so whatever he wants to see um so yeah i will check y'all when i get home so i can show you what i got i can show you right now are all these bags right and then this is kalia's clothes that she left from practice and then her donuts so, dad got her donut holes this morning, and she walked out the house with him. He came to the door and gave them to her, and then she gets in the car and gets out, and she does this all the time. She'll have water or Gatorade or her juice or something. She'll set it down in the cup holder, and she'll get out the car and forget all of her belongings. So, I'm going to have to unpack the car, pack up, and she has some jazz shoes back there. Uh yeah, and her tennis shoes are in the house, so I'll have to repack her bag, put it in her dad's car, so when tomorrow he picks them up from school, it's already going to be in the car, so she don't have to worry about forgetting stuff, because I already know if I leave it to her to bring her stuff, it's not going to happen, so it's already going to be in the car, he'll pick her up and drop her off at practice, and she'll have all her stuff, and then she'll get a ride home from one of the parents and one of our family members so um, yeah so I try to work everything out everything smooth so <sighs> yeah husband will be dropping me off tomorrow at my friend's job she's near the airport um, by 12 30 our flight leaves at 2 45 we land at 3 45 and then I have to have him come get me on Sunday and our flight lands at 6 45 in the morning so this is gonna be crazy I don't think we're gonna get any sleep from going out she said 
Dre's nightclub is open till three in the morning. <laughs> Y'all would say out to that lady. Y'all know I'm old. <laughs> like <laughs> I was watching Jay Corinne's video on YouTube, and they were in New York, and she was going through the same thing. Like them going out, it's you know all night long, and she's like, "I'm old. Like I'm tired. Auntie is tired, and that's how I feel." Um, I'm sleepy now and I even did nothing. So I can only imagine. So I'm going to try to get as much sleep as I can. Hopefully I don't fall asleep in the club, especially if I'm drinking. I'm, that's going to make me even more tired. So we'll see. But I'll check out when I get home and show y'all the finds that I did find um, and go from there. Hey, y'all. Let me pause this real quick. I am watching so many shows on BT. Anyways, just finished eating lunch. I want to show you again. This card holder, very simple, six dollars. Target and Amazon. I got my other case that came in for my new phone. It's cute. It's like a white faux leather um, with the gold. Look for my new Samsung Flip. So um, yeah, I'll be changing this out. And hold on, I wanted to open it and show you that it has the card. Hold on the back. So I have my ID in there. But yeah, super, super cute. And this is what I'll be changing tonight. Um, I ordered me a new belt from Amazon because I wanted to hear quick. And I got a Michael Kors belt. But it's not black like I thought. So I'll probably be returning this as brown. It is reversible. But I'm wearing black. So that may not work. I think that was like twenty something, thirty dollars, something like that. Now, this is what I was talking about. This pleated skirt is so freaking cute from Ross. You guys can see it. And eight ninety nine. I'm gonna try it with. Let me show y'all. This is the pleated faux leather skirt. That's how it looks underneath. This is so cute. Very, very cute. I love pleated skirts. Like I said, eight ninety nine from Ross. Let me see what brand it is. Blush? Lash? Something. Lashé? I got an extra large because I said my stomach is a little fluffy. So, does it have a zipper? Yes, it does have a zipper on the side. So I will be trying that on. This is the cute t-shirt crop top, whatever you want to call it. Of Ice Cube. It has a little purple in the back, so I feel like they will all tie in together. Very, very cute. $8.99 too. I thought it was more than that. So that will go with either one, but I think more with the purple. And then this is the Under Armour sweatshirt. And this is what I was talking about. This little netting on the side, which is open. And it's normally $60 at Ross. They had it for $26.99. And it also has the net on the shoulders. Very, very cute. I'll see what it tonight. And then this is the body suits and I got my daughter if I can flip it around I'm trying to do it with one hand but yeah and this is $7.99 heart hips and it's just a t-shirt t-shirt and it has snaps on the bottom but yeah bodysuit I got my bra oh I did get something else from Target now this is so cute. I wanted a different color. But this is like a jewelry travel case. So it has the zipper right here, pocket. That'll be good for my hoops. Another pocket here, another pocket here. This is for earrings. These are for rings. But I thought this was super cute for me to carry my jewelry. I think that's all I got for right now. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, that was about it. So I'm at home, I'm watching TV, just finished eating lunch. What time is it now? 108. I have until about 2 o'clock, I'll leave to go pick up the kids. 
and I'll be back home later. So yeah, um, I need to stretch out my my Yeezys, the black tennis shoes I plan on wearing, um, because they are a little like my feet, my feet hit just at the top, like, but that's not even the problem. Like my toes or nothing. It's just it burns, like wearing them for so long because they're not broken in. So I'm gonna try to stretch them out tonight. But yeah, I was just checking in, but I'll check in with y'all in a little while. Well, guys, back to the drawing board for me. Um, I'm so frustrated. I tried on the full of the skirt. It wouldn't even get over my hips. Like, it got up, and I can't zip it. So, that's a no-go. The purple, which is, like, tight and look, I look extra pregnant in it. Um, and then the tank just, t-shirt didn't just look good at all so i'm back to the drawing board i think i'm just gonna go with my first mine with the t-shirt and jeans and call it a day um yeah so i'll um check in later i just wanted to update you guys on that i'm so fucking i'm so mad right now myself for letting myself get like this because i'm not comfortable with anything at this time and it's gonna be frustrating i don't want to go i don't want to go out if I don't feel comfortable so I'm gonna just be irritated for a little bit but I'll be back 